Good morning, the carrot fan here. Right, doing a video for you, for you lot, because I asked you on Twitter. Uh, uh, just bear with me, I just got about a couple of minutes ago. So, yeah, um, what do, what do I talk about? Oh, Michael Carrick abuse, I'm still getting it on Twitter for some reason. Um, say, oh, people saying, oh, he's shitting that. Sorry, I'm not having that. People assume I've always been a Carrick fan, that's not always been the case. I would say I didn't. I didn't hate him like I did with Evans, but I, re I remember one game. Was a, ironically, it was a, it was against the Van Gaal team. It was a Bayern Munich in the 0910 season. Um, I, I remember I remember that game with. I th did didn't he score an own goal or, or something? Oh, he did a mark Olic or something. So yeah, I did I did a rate. I did rate it, but not like I did now. If you know what I mean. So yeah, people keep saying, oh, he's that. Oh, he's shit and that. Yeah. Well, when he, come, when he comes back for me, G, I could bet, bet, bet your bottom dollar that Van Gaal will have him in the, in the team. And I'm pretty sure Roy Hodgson will pick him for England as well. Because right now, in, England need need um, Carrick um, more than ever now. Because they, they haven't got Gerard or Lampard to rely on anymore. And, um... They've got a youngish midfield, so with Carrick's experience, that you they will do well with that. So yeah, I I just don't get this, not Carrick hate, but maybe a, abuse is a stronger word, but I I don't know how to, how to explain it really. Why do you get players like one of the world's greatest midfielder of all midfielders of all time, Xavi, one of my favorite non United players? And Xabi Alonso, you know you're you're a bloody good player. So yeah, I I generally don't don't get the Carrick um, hate because I can't find another word to describe it really. So yeah, um, I ju I just generally don't get it. Oh, happy birthday to Alan Healthy Marie as well. He's twenty seven today. Like I said, let's wait. It was a couple of days ago. So. I find it weird. Is it me or is it? I, I, six months on from him joining the club, I find I find it weird seeing him in the United shirt. To be fair, I was like that with, with Van Percy for a bit. I, I was. I'm not comparing the signings, but I was in more shock with Van Percy than I was with Di Maria. Hold on, because there were report. Was it there were reports of um, Di Maria joining, and I remember. On the first Saturday of the season, Guillaume Balagui said I'd have the, the league that, that he was joining. He got that one spot, to be fair. And yes, you could look through my old uh, tweets that um, that I um, did the one name at first. Yes, I know. Abuse me if you want. I'm only joking. So yeah, um, happy birthday to Di Maria, yes, 27 today. Also, uh, what do I ask? What else do I talk about? Sexism in football, and uh, this has some to do with last night, but I feel passionate about the subject. Man needs to get out uh, of this um, dark age and say, "Oh, a woman's place is in the kitchen. Do one." I'm so sick of my male counterparts that use that fucking crap. Do one. If a woman wants to support United, I'm all for it. If a woman wants to support Aston Villa. Chelsea or any other club in in Europe or Premier League or in the world, let her. Just fed up with sexism in football. So bloody annoying. I I embrace all coaches and stuff. Yeah, I embrace all colour, creed, etc, etc. So yeah, that's why that's my that's my um, opinions on sexism in football. Also, the abuse I get. Excuse me, I just got up, so bear with me. Um, yeah. The abuse I get. If I, if I was to compare it... Hmm, I'm trying to think now. The last, the last year and a half, I think I've had death threats. What else have I had? People would have fight me on Twitter. On Twitter. 
See, that's his stuff about me. All oh, the usual nonsense. I, I, I'm used to it anyway. It's like this for me. Over me head. Yep. Over my head. So yeah. Um, thanks for watching this video. If you want me to do another one today or whatever, just let me know please. Thank you and goodbye.